Hello friends and welcome to another Infinite Campus tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can post your grades. First thing you want to do is log in. Once you're logged in, you should be at the control center. If not, you can check out the previous tutorials which I've made. They'll show you how to get there. Then mosey on over to the gradebook. And you're probably going to see a lot more. This class, which is business co-op, I only have the one assignment. You're probably going to have a lot more assignments. And yours might look a little bit different, but I'll show you why that is in a moment. First thing I want to go over is term, section, and task. So let me just zoom in here a little bit. Term, you want it to be on quarter one. That's obviously the grade we're going to be posting. Business Co-op, that's the first period class which I am posting the grade for. And right now we have one task, so that's easy, but in the future you just might want to keep an eye on that because uh, during like midterm and final exams it will change. Next step is to expand the grade totals. And you can see now we have a lot more. And if you've been spending a lot of time in here, you will notice a new orange button, post grade. and this is actually how you would put in some comments. In the future, we're gonna be able to add custom comments, but for right now, we're gonna use some canned comments. Uh, so you can choose those and perfect. Hit save. Now I can see that it's what I want it to be. I'm gonna hit save, then post. It's gonna tell me to save again which is okay because yep these two only two options after this it'll tell me grades will be posted upon save okay now i'm going to hit save again now if you want to do some further adjustments you can head on down to the post grades which is down on that sidebar here i've had a few questions about students grades and perhaps needing to change them so the scenario i'll give you is I've had in the past students with say an 89.9 and normally uh, I believe it would count it as a B plus. If you would want that to be an A minus, say the student did some great work or whatever, A minus, and you may see this and say, well, I don't want that. That doesn't matter. After you've adjusted this, you hit save. That is what will be posted on the report card. You may not believe me. I don't know why, I'm a very, very honest person, but if you still don't believe me, maybe I don't blame you. Head on down to reports. You can go to report card, click on that, find the class, find the student, generate the PDF. This is what the student will be seeing. And you'll remember, it was an A plus for the current grade. However, on the report card itself, the student will see A minus and then the comments associated with this. Hopefully this was helpful. If you do have any questions, please send me an email at Bartholomew at PRSD. Good luck everybody. We're counting on you.